So if you guys guessed in the last video, it is a Pontiac Fiero GT, and this is an 87, which means that it does have the V6 being a GT model and has a better transmission as well. And with that being said, this project is going to be in a complete transformation. You guys saw in these before shots, I'm going to be cleaning the inside and the outside of this car. And on the inside, we have mice crap everywhere. So in the last detail that I did, the Ford Escape, the kid trashed one. I finished that detail and had a drive back from Cleveland. And in the process of doing that detail, this got dropped off in my driveway. And when I pulled up pitch black dark and I could literally see the mice underneath it scurrying away because this thing's probably infested. The problem is I don't know where, where. I haven't even started this project yet. So you guys are gonna find out with me where these mice live, where they are besides the interior. This is gonna be a fun one. It is rust free, which is the main reason why I picked it up. And apparently it ran a year and a half ago when it was parked. Don't know if that's true or not, but it was parked in a barn and then within the last several months it's been wheeled outside and maybe the mice haven't been in there very long, but I'm guessing they've been in there for a while and this thing has probably sat a lot longer than I was told. Not only does this thing have pop-up headlights, which are awesome in super 80s. All of these body panels are like, they're pretty much like, what are they called? They're like from the Saturn. You know in the commercials where they smash things into them? They don't dent. That's like the coolest thing ever. For the engine, I got a few ideas in my head. You guys let me know what you think I should swap into this thing. So if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button below. Like it if you like Frieras, and if you don't like it, subscribe anyways because it's gonna be a fun project. Enough talking, let's get started. All right, so today is a new day on Stop for Garage, and for yesterday, I did get the car completely pressure washed and rinsed off and got majority of the mold on, but if you guys can't tell how bright it is, um, this happened. So we have a car covered in snow, and if you guys follow me on Instagram at Stop for Garage, you would have already seen the dilemma that I'm dealing with, but all the wheels are almost flat, and the guy that dropped it off said that it is a hard thing to roll around, so I'm gonna have to get some wheel chalk, but first, I have to run by the post office, drop off all of the brushes that you guys have ordered. I have a ton, I have a huge bin full. So thank you guys for all the support on that. And if you are looking for detailing brushes, check out Fox Clean. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But we need to go to Home Depot and I'm gonna pick up one of those like salamander propane heaters for the garage. I need to figure out a name for this car guys, so I need your help. Let me know in the comments below what we wanna code name this one. So that way you guys know. Come on Ruka, we gotta go to the store man. He's my helper for today. Whoops. 
think we're gonna go with this guy. My dad says butane's a bastard gas. We're gonna start pulling out the interior, start getting that all deep cleaned, go through the whole process that you guys know that I do on all my deep cleans, and this one is no exception whatsoever. So we're gonna fill up the tires. I got, I picked these up from Harbor Freight yesterday, so I got four wheel dollies that we're gonna put the car on. I just hope the mice that were in the car are not in the car any longer. Yeah, I don't want mice in my garage. So, let's get started. <laughs> It is in roll as easy as I thought it would. Since the propane heater is cordless, I might just try to put it close to the car and just do the detail out here because to be honest, I'm not gonna be able to get it in today by myself. I'm gonna have to get a buddy to come help me. But let's go ahead and get started with the failed so far detail. And the good news is now that I've sucked all that mice crap out of there, if I start seeing more, it means that the mice are still in the car, which it's not a bad thing that I haven't gotten inside because of that, so that way I don't have to worry about them getting into the garage. Yeah. All right, so as of right now, we got the seat out. We got the whole floor completely vacuumed on the driver's side. I'm gonna start wiping on the panels. I can feel it somewhere inside haunting like a drug I keep on wanting there's a love that fits so perfect it's hard to believe there's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating and the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me it's strange, I know, but I feel like you're here with me, like chasing goals, I know you're out there. Oh, oh, oh. 
Time is unfair Cause I know you're out there somewhere Patient waiting on nowhere Feeling like your grip might slip too soon But I'm running Chasing speed and gunning I'll be right there all of a sudden I feel your heartbeat lead me straight to you inside has been completely scrubbed on the door panels and they came out really good and that was really only moldy spots that I saw in the car. The seats are in great condition. I think that they'll shampoo and scrub out no problem. The mice decided not to eat those which is awesome and I think the carpets will actually get cleaned pretty well too. We're gonna eventually pull out all of the panels, the whole interior, the headliner is sagging and completely like torn in a couple spots. So in an upcoming video, we're gonna also replace that bad boy. I'm gonna show you how to re-carpet the door panels because I think what I wanna do is change it all to black carpet. I think it'd look awesome. I might even try to dye the current carpet in there. Blinded by the light ahead Thought about just what you said Connecting lives is what you planned After all, let's take a chance Turning dust into diamonds Turning love into guidance A second chance, let us... So the interesting part with these seats is apparently these are supposed to be like speakers up in here. There is a cable down here, left and right. I'm excited about this car because it's an 80s car and the 80s technology was like so over the top and so crazy that it just didn't make sense, but it just was the coolest thing ever. Let me know if you guys agree with that. But um, there's speakers up here, so I need to be careful with that, but that's cool as hell.
Trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want The seats look great. Um, it seemed like everything was just on the surface and there's nothing embedded. All the foam seems to be in good shape underneath and everything's really strong, including all the bolsters. So I'm gonna dry those out overnight, see how they look, look in the morning, see if they need to be replaced at all, if there's any stains that wouldn't come out. But for the most part, everything turned out awesome. But if you guys are new and you like this restoration sort of videos, detailing or anything that you guys have seen today, hit subscribe. 
turn on notifications. It helps this channel out and it also means that you guys do not miss out on future videos on this project or on other details I do. I wanna know what you guys think I should do with the project. Do you want this to be like a Mad Max build? A all out speed build. I have a few engine swap ideas in mind. I don't wanna keep the current engine, I don't think. I wanna put something bigger or something newer, if you will. I have a few ideas, so I'll let you guys collaborate down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, but this thing's gonna turn out awesome, and it's gonna be with your guys' help that it's gonna happen. So, see you guys next time.